raindrops. It's not every day when you are in the presence of greatness. When you are in the presence of a literal living legend. <laughs> Ever since I was a little gay boy in Detroit, Michigan, this is true tea. And y'all know me, honey. I love girl groups. I'm obsessed with girl groups. I'm a connoisseur of girl groups. I created one called Blueprint. Yes, Encore. I yeah. love girl groups. From TLC to Destiny's Child. But of course, SWV. And I'm here with my friend, my love, who I think is one of the greatest R&B singers of all time. Of course, I'm talking about Miss Coco Gamble. Hi. I'm here. <laughs> yes. So look, we've been trying to do this for a minute. So I'm so yeah. thankful and grateful that we're able to finally sit and talk because there's a lot going on, Coco. Is it? Oh. I didn't even know. <laughs> I can't even go on social media without hearing about SWV Escape whole headlining, everything else. So let's get right into it. <laughs> Obviously, okay. your show, The Queens of R&B, is a talk of, of the town. Everybody has a strong opinion about this show. What made you, Coco, want to do another reality <laughs> show? I thought this would be a great idea. You all like you always see the guys go on tour, the guy groups, new edition, Jodeci. So I was like, oh, it would be really nice for some girls to get um get together and do it. And I don't know if you saw the 112 and Jagged Edge show where they had an integrated show. So the way it was presented to SWV, it would be something like that. So I was like, oh, that's dope. I can get with that. So, you know, I wasn't really thinking about the drama like that. Not really, you know, but I was like, no, it's going to be better this time. I was wrong. <laughs> where, where did things go wrong? Because to your point, as a fan of girl groups, and so is a lot of my listeners, we thought like to have SWV and Escape do a show based on how great the verses was between, I mean, I was live tweeting like, this is, again, I just thought of myself as a little gay boy in Detroit. Like, I can't believe all of these legends are like singing together. Um, when that verses happened, you know, listen, there were conversations of who won, who, who you know, whatever, was the popularity of the verses what made you guys decide to do a show about co-headlining? <laughs> the show is not about co-headlining. <laughs> you tried. Allegedly. No. <laughs> Mona Scott, it was her idea. She saw verses and she thought that it would be a great idea. And so the way she explained it, I was like, yeah, that would be a great idea for SWB and Escape to do a show. But it was it's the show supposed to be about us um, preparing, you know, you, you guys get to see behind the scenes of how we do the rehearsal, the, the decisions we have to make and things of that nature. That's, you know, what it was supposed to be about. So what is it about now that you're surprised about? The co-headlining. <laughs> when we were asked to do it, we were told that it was like going to be a co-headlining situation. So we were like, cool, let's get in here and let's do this. Let's show them that women can work together. So that's why I was all for it. Do you believe that when it comes to girl groups, the reason why some don't last is because of the egos involved? Like, what, what, what do you think is, is happening when it comes to... <clears throat> I signed on to do a show about one thing. And then the next thing I know, we're arguing about co-headlining, which is what was told to me, meaning speaking for you, which was told to you was going to be the reason to do the show. Um, what was your question? <laughs> 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 do you, 
the egos get involved in terms of why <laughs> this series is about co-headlining? So like, you, I'm gonna speak for SWB. I don't feel like it's anything about egos on our part. We just want what's fair and what's due to us. If we're gonna do an integrated show, we're doing an equal amount of work. Why can't it be a co-headlining situation? That's it. If but if we're not like it's, if it's not an integrated show, you're gonna do your show. We're gonna do our show. It then that's something different. But we were said we were told that it was gonna be an integrated show. So I don't even understand why it's such a big deal about co-headlining. So as we're seeing with this season, a lot of the the girls are having conversation about the reasoning behind why Escape feels that they deserve to be the top billing because. Um, Tiny said, and I'm not putting words in her mouth, Tiny said that courtesy of her and Candy having hit reality shows, mm -hmm. that the relevancy is more there, which is why they sell out. Um, obviously, you are a, a, a part of a group that mm -hmm. has sold two to three times as more than them. When, when Tiny made her rationale about the reality show being relevant to them selling out, and deserving to be top billing, what were your thoughts in that? I disagreed. I totally disagree. I didn't even know like the social media, because they brought up social media as well. They have more followers or whatever. I didn't even know that was a thing. And if we were talking about TV, yes, you got that all day. You girls, you the queen of TV. But when it comes to music, I, I feel like that's something different. You know, SWV, we them girls. And I'm not going to ever put my group down to uh, to make somebody else feel better. No, we are them girls. I'm going to always ride for SWV. You said multiple times that back in the day, 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 um, honey, Miss Coco used to get the girls together. Honey. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Were you trying to restrain yourself from going back to that place where the old Coco would have done what compared to what the new Coco was doing now? I would have been just um, arguing the whole from the first time we started filming to the end. But it's tiring. I didn't want, you know, I really was trying my best to make things work out. You know what I mean? Because I thought this was, like I said, I still feel like it's a great idea. It's something that has not been done. We could have been like the new age Spice Girls. You know what I mean? And I just felt like, you know what? Me getting upset and going crazy is not going to solve anything. So I'm going to just chill out. Plus, I was medicated. So I was just chilling out, you know? And Taj would be talking to me, you know, we, we're going to do it like this. We're going to do it like that because she's more level-headed. And that's what we were trying to do. We were just trying to keep it cute. We don't want no drama, no problems. We want what we feel we deserve. And that's it. Were you... Not to put words in your mouth, a lot of people have said that the egos in Escape is the reason why they always have issues. Do you agree with that? I don't know. Like, they have issues that they have to work out. I don't know if it's egos. They've known each other since they were kids. So I feel like maybe it stems from way back then. But I don't, I didn't learn about a lot of this stuff until we started filming. <laughs> Like, oh, oh, oh okay. That's deep. <laughs> uh, I'm a lot of times I'm like, in my mind, like, oh, shit, shoot. <laughs> I know. But it's not my problem. <laughs> we got our own issues. That's where I was at. I'm like, SWV, we have our own issues. I can't really deal with this. Did you know about, I mean, obviously, listen, SWB has been around since the 90s. And one thing I've learned through my study of just R&B uh, music, girl groups, guy groups, all of that is a lot of times you guys um, <clears throat> cross paths, right? Whether it was a concert or things right. like that. Were you always aware about the drama that was happening in Escape? And if so, were you so, so you, you didn't know about none of this? No, I learned about a lot of this on the show. I I didn't care that much to know what they were doing. I didn't care that, you know, like I said, SWB, we had major problems within our own group. So I didn't give a damn what nobody else was doing. 
do you believe that the, you signed on to do a show and you got bamboozled in the intention of it? <laughs> um, you know what it is? I can't say <clears throat> we got bamboozled because we know with every uh, reality show, it has to be some drama. I just didn't expect it to be this much drama. You know, I live a regular life. So I just wake up every Monday morning and I'm in another blog. I'm like, hot damn, again? Did you leave me alone already? Damn. You know, I just try to air up personal business. Like, oh my God, last night I'm like online arguing with people I don't know. Like, I don't do that. Like, you know, my group, we kind of easy going. We easy, you know. We just chill for the most part. You don't see us in a lot of drama because that's not what we do. But you, Lily is the calmest one and you, she's up there and now she's all talking back. She on block. I'm like, this has gone way too far because this is not what we do. What personal stuff came out that you feel like was just too much? <clears throat> About how much we supposedly get paid. Uh, you got people Googling how much we get paid. Don't trust Google, honey. We get paid. Um, how I was making, how I make more than the girls. Um, they have to split 50%. Like that was, that's unnecessary to me. Like we don't have to throw dirty jabs, really. Like that's not ladylike. That, I don't like that part. I don't like, I don't think you have to get, because we're not doing that. We're not being nasty and dirty and putting out people's personal information. We're not, we're not doing that. And I'm like, it's untrue. SWV, we, we, we split equal. But why is it anybody's business? It's not paying, it's our bills paid. My mortgage is paid. <laughs> we live in lovely, like leave us alone. When you saw that Lily was getting into it with Akbar um, mm -hmm. over Twitter, what was you thinking about when all of that was unfolding? Because it definitely got a lot of press and a lot of clapbacks happened after it. I was surprised because like, like I said, Lily though, she minds her business. She doesn't get into anything. And she was like, don't be mad at me, y'all. But I said something, we were like, what? Because I'm not on Twitter. I was like, what did you say? <laughs> then I see it in the blogs. I'm like, oh, goodness. Why are you arguing with her? Like, <laughs> do you even know her? Like, who cares? So it just was, it was more surprising because it was Lily and Lily's like, she's real chill and laid back. And I'm just like, we just try to tell her, just let it go. Just, who cares? People going to think what they want to think. They're going to believe what they want to believe. But we know the truth. And that's what matters. I'm not defending myself to people I don't know. Yeah, because listen, one thing we all love about you is, is, is what you said <clears throat> before. You have always been somebody that has defended yourself. You have admitted that, look, back in the day, 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 I was a girl who liked to clap back. And I think what we're all surprised as, you know, I'm, I'm watching the clips online <laughs> too, um, Coco, I am surprised that to me, and this is my opinion, and people can take it with a grain of salt if they want to. Mm -hmm. I was surprised that there was even a conversation about mm -hmm. someone headlining a tour. Because to me, the, the spirit of the verses mm -hmm. was the fact that it was a celebration of two iconic right. groups in their own right. Correct? Right. And none of y'all fed into the fans saying, this person won, this group won. Y'all didn't feed into that because it was more so like we all had fun. Right. And I was surprised that one of the biggest beefs, if, if, if we call it that, of this season that has to do with the groups, right? Because there's right. other personal beefs dealing with other people. But when it comes to the group, was something that I think all of us felt was so simple. And it's sort of like asking, um, <laughs> I'll say it. It's sort of like asking, <laughs> you know, Jill Scott and Erica Badu to do a tour and one person wants to, you know what I mean? It's, it was sort yeah. of like, we both are fire in our own right. 
And right. what was sad, what was sad to <laughs> me, and, and this is me saying it, what was sad to me was that the commonality of we are both excellent and mm-hmm. giving props to SWV for, and this is no, listen, I'm, just, I'm, I'm speaking as, as a, as a fan of music. If we look at the stats, mm-hmm. right? SWV arguably has the bigger hits. If we, if, we, if we just focus on Billboard, if we focus yeah. on nothing else and just Billboard, you guys have the bigger hits. And that's why, to me, I thought it was amazing of Escape to say, although you guys have, according to Billboard, bigger hits, mm-hmm. we also bring this to the table and how beautiful it would be to show the world because if we're going to talk about female empowerment, if we're going to talk about we always lead with supporting women and, and doing things for the fans, why couldn't that be the common ground? That's that's That yes. was my, my thought process into it. Was that yours too? Yes, I totally agree. We're doing this woman empowerment thing, sisterhood, you know, we loving on each other. Why does it even matter about the, oh, we got a headline because we on TV huh? Like, is this what this is about? Because y'all should have told me that before I signed the contract. You know, I, I, you know, I don't left my home to come out here and do this and this is what we doing. I can't even go home now. So, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, like, I was all ready to just, you know, get to know the other ladies. You know, I know Tasha, she and I, we are friends. We've been friends for a minute. And I was I'm really ready to get to know the other ladies and just, you know, I guess make some new friends, but honey, it did not work out that way. Who are you friends with right now from Escape? Sasha. Why aren't you friends with the other group members? See, Tasha and I were friends before the show. We were friends before Versus. Like, she's the one that called me and convinced me to do Versus because I didn't want to do Versus. She's like, come on, let's do it for the culture. And I was like, okay, what is like, what does that mean? Just to break that down to me. So I did verses. We talked before filming this show. You know, we both had some reservations, but I think Tasha and I kind of clicked because we both understand each other. Like I've been in her shoes before where I've had people band together just simply because they dislike me you know, for one reason or another. So I kind of feel her. I feel like she understands me. And that's why we've been friends for as long as we have been. And based on your experience on the reality show, uniform and friendship with the other members? No, because I never really um, was around the other members. I, I didn't even get to see Tasha as much while we were filming. Like, we were talking on the phone, but that was about it. We It was so busy. And I was flying back and forth from um, Atlanta to Virginia. So it was crazy. Speaking of Tasha, she has become a meme on social media. Yeah. And Tasha has been accused of allegedly stealing (laughs) $30,000 from her sister, Tamika. Tasha... Based on what I've been seeing, Tasha has definitely been villainized on the show. Mm-hmm. You know Tasha personally. How is she doing? <clears throat> I was literally just with her yesterday. We hung out yesterday. She's doing the best that she can with what everything that she's dealing with. You know, but I talk to her. I try to uplift her and encourage and encourage her, you know, just so she can keep going and keep her head up because she's really like bothered she's bothered who wouldn't be bothered you know she's human so I just try to just uplift her and be a friend for her in the ear I'm honest with her as well you know that's what sisters do friends that's where we are and um I just pray for her you know and she don't need another enemy so I'm not trying to be that I'm her friend and that's just it Based on you watching the show because obviously a lot of the scenes that she's going through with Tamika was filmed personally mm-hmm. based on based on the fact that you do know her you two are friends and now you have to watch what's being said about her on the show what conclusion have you come up with in terms of her treatment do you feel like it's something to where she doesn't does not deserve and this is not the Tasha that you've been knowing for so many years 
it's not the Tasha that I know, but you know, but if you give it to them, you know how reality TV works. How to if you give it to them, they gonna use it. So if you sit up there making them faces, they gonna use it. <laughs> I've been there before. They get me every time making faces with all of us. They gonna use it, but you know when you film it, you forget the cameras are there sometimes. So you just like, yeah, whatever. Now, I think it's unfair, you know, because she's really a good person. And I just don't, I really don't like how they're doing her. She's a good person. You get to know her, you will really enjoy her. And I just feel like everybody needs to give her a chance and lighten up a little bit. What's going on between the sisters? That's between the sisters. Nobody should be in between that. That's family. They are biological sisters. And I like I tell Tasha, and she will tell you, I tell her, work that out. Make it right with your sister. I don't care about nothing else. If you never, ever go back to escape, that's your sister. Y'all got to make that right. Y'all got to work that out. And everybody else needs to stay out of that, that sister business and let them work it out. That's it. As we went through Twitter, um, some people have said that Tamika has chosen the group over her sister. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you've seen as well? I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to get in there. I don't want to be in that. I don't know. I like Tamika as well. You know, when I, whenever I used to look at Escape when they first came out, I gravitated to Tamika. And she know when I see how I'm like, hey, what's up, fave? I love her voice. I love her attitude, her swag. She just gives it to you. So like, you know, even after the show, she was like, am I still your fave? You know what I mean? Because it's been really hard for all of us. But, you know, no matter what we're going through, she's still my fave. I still love her voice. I still love her swag. I can't take any of her talent away from her. She gives. You know what I mean? But what's going on between her and her sister, her choosing, you know, quote, unquote, her group over her sister, I don't know what's going on with that because I haven't had a conversation with Tamika about that. And I don't, I don't like to get involved in that because I don't want nobody involved in my business like that. <laughs> <laughs> Gonko said, look, child, I got enough problems of my own. I ain't got time to insert myself wow. in, in other people's business, especially when it comes to sisters. Not yeah. sisters with voices, sisters with vicious <laughs> um, accusations, child. Mm -mm, honey, no. And then they get back together, and then I, they don't talk to me. Nope, I'm not getting involved. <laughs> mm -mm. Will there ever be a tour with SWB and Escape? I don't know at this point. If you ask me today, it looks like it's a no, but I don't know. I am, you know, see this new Coco, this positive Coco. I still like this is this is like a great idea. It's awesome. Like, why are we here? Why didn't why don't we all see the bigger picture? This is history, legendary. But we are, you know, with co headline, and that's so stupid. That is stupid. So I don't know right now. It's gotten personal and disrespectful, and I'm not good with disrespect. So I don't know. Especially when you've got my number, you can just call and we can talk this out. I hate arguing online, not with people that got my phone number. Where do you do that at? Oh, exactly. well, apparently they do it to me, child. So yeah. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh look here coco um that is the spirit of carlos king i let me tell you something about me i always said this and i feel this way and you can take this and make whatever headline you want i carlos king the first won't ever in life i haven't done it before and i'm not gonna start if you got my phone number and you choose not to pick up the phone Mm-hmm. Dial those um <laughs> those 10 digits <laughs> and say to me, we got beef. I don't know what's going on if you choose to use whatever miscommunication or misunderstanding we have and go to the press. I I I, I will let me tell you something. I will never understand that. I 
I, I, listen, I have my reasons as to why things like that always happens to people because mm -hmm. sometimes you need the audience. Okay. Right. I think a lot of times yeah. people need the audience. And my thing is I, I'm not going to join a circus. I'm just, I'm not, exactly. I'm not. Yeah. So I, I agree with you there. I, 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 I'm surprised. And I think that's the reason why a lot of people are disappointed with the direction of the show, because like you said, look, we know drama's gonna happen. I'll be real with you. When I heard the show came out, was coming, as the king of reality TV, I yes. thought, cause I did the encore. So I know yes. when you get a bunch of, you know, um, um, <laughs> solidify successful females together, something's going to happen, right? right. So okay. I'm not stupid. So I knew that it will be some drama just based on, wait, what are we doing? I am shocked. You could not have told me. <laughs> you could not have told me the drama with the group would be this cold headlining. I think it's crazy to me because I just, I just assumed that would be the easy part to decide on. And, and that's why I think a lot of us are disappointed <laughs> in the fact that we may never see this happen Right. because of the bigger picture. Now, with all that being said, um, the members of Escape have said that they're moving forward as a trio. Mm -hmm. um, do you think based on you being in a trio for, I mean, decades upon decades, do you think that's going to work for them? I think they can, if they can do it because Tamika... We'll sing Tasha's part, but Tasha's going to be missed. She's definitely going to be missed. Because, you know, people like to see, they people are really funny about their original members. They want to see them original. So, I mean, they can do it, but people are going to, she's going to be missed. She's definitely going to be missed. You know, she, um, she has some really great parts in their, in their songs or whatever. They all, they all have their part in Escape. And people want to see that. So I think that they can do it, but it's better with her there. If there was a second season of this show, would you come back? Um, today I'm going to say no. <laughs> today I would say no. This is too much. It's ridiculous. I'm like, I... <laughs> It's just weird. <laughs> it's weird. I, and I don't even think my group members, they're just like, no. Taj and Lily are over it? Yes. Taj and Lily are so easygoing. Just, you know, they real chill. So to have a lot of this stuff being thrown at us, it's just like, what the hell? Oh my God. And people are saying such mean and cruel and evil things. They just like, wait a minute. Where, why is this happening? So at this point, like I said, we were just chilling. And to have this all happening, nobody wants to be bothered with this. Uh, I, I, today I would have to say no. But what would tomorrow, get you to what would get you to say yes? The money. <laughs> Then I gotta convince the girls. <laughs> Come on, y'all. <laughs> it's a nice boy. <laughs> <laughs> you said, let me get my bag right. Then yeah, convince Taj and Lily. And then, yeah. Pay me for this drama. Pay me, honey. <laughs> pay me for this headache. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, look, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm still hopeful because when I did the encore, this is what I learned from, because obviously the show was about former girl group members living right. together to form a group. One mm -hmm. thing I learned about girl groups, the ones who make it, uh huh. In order for a girl group to make it, I want to get your opinion on this. I was okay. told that in the girl group there has to be a member assigned as like the mother of the group. Okay. Like the one, the one that is the, the champion of, of the collective, the one who's like, no, we got to figure this out. You know, no, we got to rehearse. Um, Kelly Rowland <laughs> has, Kelly Rowland has said 
numerous times. Even Latavia and Latoya said this. And Michelle. Mm -hmm. They said Beyonce was the mom of the group meeting. She was like, I know we're tired, but we got to go in the studio. Latoya Luckett told Tank, and I thought this was so beautiful. Latoya Luckett told Tank on his podcast that when she was in the studio doing her part, Beyonce would stand behind, be in the studio with her to give her some encouragement. Mm -hmm. And that's why she felt like at that time, um, the group was successful because you had one person. Right. Who's that person in SWV? And do you think Escape has that person? Well, I'm going to talk about like when while we were filming, that person for us would have, is Taj. I see that too. Yeah. yeah. She was the one that was like, and still she's like, okay, she would be like, okay, let this is what we're gonna do. This is what we're not gonna do. Coco, you need to calm down. Don't say nothing until this time. You know, she was very, she's strategic in what we would do. Even now after the show, you know, has aired, she's still like, okay, just chill out. Nobody say anything. We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do it like that or whatever. So it, it's Todd. Do we always listen? No. And then she'll be like, I told y'all, y'all didn't listen, whatever. And we're like, all right, all right, you're right, you're right. But she's that person for, for us that's, you know, she's like more level-headed. She thinks things out. So yeah, she's helped us a lot during the filming of the show, after the show now. In our early years, I didn't really respect her like that. So if she was that person, I don't know because I wasn't listening. You know what I mean? <laughs> day, she, yeah, she's our person. She's that. She's that. I don't know. I really don't know Escape like that. So I don't know if they have that person over there. I think what we were seeing, they don't have that person. Yeah. And I think, and, and listen, my opinion, listen, my opinion. I think that's the issue. I mm -hmm. and, and, and this is what I was told from multiple girl group members in that house, the encore. They all okay. said, you need one person who's a mama. And I think when it comes to escape, they may not have that one person that they listen to who can rally the troops, be be the mature one in the situation and say, hey, right. this is what's going on. Let's, let, let's chill. And obviously that group has a set of sisters and that's always going to be an issue when you are working with your family yeah yeah and it's about a, a respect thing too if you don't respect each other like that it's not going to work like i said for us back in the day i didn't give a damn about nothing or nobody so nobody could really calm me down but as i've grown i'm older now I'm happy to have someone there that's like, okay, guys, we, we should do it like this. Don't do it like that. Calm down. Lily, Coco, don't say nothing. You know, it works for us, but you have to be open to listen and, you know, to learn because we don't know everything. Have you heard from any um, girl group members about the show that may be watching it? Uh, maybe. <laughs> Maybe I heard from a lot of people. <laughs> what without you don't have to name names. Uh -uh. Okay. Uh -uh. Without naming names, what have they said to you? Way to go, girl. Y'all are doing good. We love your maturity. <laughs> but that makes me feel good because we are finally getting it right. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, she was right. Just chill out, you know. I'm 52. I don't want to be arguing online. <laughs> <laughs> it is stupid. Uh -oh. They got me cussing and carrying on. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> well, no, you got to keep your peace. And listen, as someone who doesn't argue with people online, my advice to you is to, is to you got to reserve your peace. And I always say this to people. When you are anointed, it annoys people and they want to attack you. And that yeah. could come in forms of different people, whether it's somebody you know or somebody you don't know. You always have to rise above it. And people yeah. are going to constantly poke you to react and to respond. They want you to respond. They'll at you. They'll call yeah. out. To, like they, and you but have to. 
Go ahead. What was that, Coco? They can't at me. <laughs> oh, you 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 restricted that. Yeah. Okay. I don't know you can do that. <laughs> See, but well, that's good. That's smart. Yeah. Hell yeah! I don't because that's I knew it was coming. So I'm like, uh, uh-uh, y'all not gonna disturb my peace. I already have a lot going on in life. I don't need your unwanted ass. I love that about you. So look, we still want a tour. Can we get a tour at SWV and TLC? Oh, we would love that. But you know, TLC is on tour with In Vogue now. They took In Vogue and they did not add SWV. I'm like, girl, come on. I would love that though. That I would, I would, I would be an opener for that. <laughs> they got a word. We ain't trying to have co-headline. We'll be a, a we'll be an opener. <laughs> we show. Give us a good thirty minutes. <laughs> That's TLC. <laughs> In Vogue, they pay for ways. None of us wouldn't be here if it wasn't for in Vogue. So, like, come on. So you, as the, you wouldn't mind SWB opening up for TLC or in Vogue? No, we've opened up for in Vogue before. We did. We toured with in Vogue, and we we went on before them. We don't. That's the thing about us. We are honest. We we know what it is. I do not mind. TLC is huge. Are you crazy? I don't want to come after no TLC. Uh-uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. We ain't stupid now. <laughs> we not stupid. <laughs> we ain't stupid. We don't want to come behind TLC. We we respect Involved to the utmost. Like I said, if it was not for Involved, there would be no SWB. So no, y'all want to go? Y'all want us to go on before y'all? We're going to do that because that's how much love and respect we have for both of them. That is so beautiful because it it makes me sad because I do feel like, and one thing I also learned from the former girl group members, they, they, they said to me that one of the other reasons girl groups don't last is because there's always someone in your ear telling you how big you are. Yes, we, I mean, I've dealt with that from the beginning. We, we have so many people and I don't even understand that now that I'm old and I think about it. Like, why are you doing this? Why are you in our ears just so and such discord between the group when we're better together than we are apart? That never makes sense to me. And you have so many people that's in your ear, like you're the cutest one, you sing the best, you dance the best. You don't need her. Like, why are you doing that? That doesn't make sense. We're a great group. So why are you trying to tear the group apart? That never makes, it doesn't make sense to me now. But um, you try to surround yourself with better people, but it doesn't always work. And I, I've never understood that. But yeah, we're SWV. We each had our own crew and everybody's in our ear talking and running their mouths. And it's, it's just, it's whack. Yeah. Work. Yeah. Yeah. No. So listen, we're hopeful. We're prayerful. Let's what pray. The, let, let, <laughs> let, let us pray. Let us pray. Okay. Namaste. Namaste. Yes. <clears throat> Before I let you go, one of the other things I, 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 I have to talk to you about is the fact that you are such a support system for your son. Oh, yes. And as an openly gay Black man, I want to make sure that you hear from me mm -hmm. that what you are doing for your child means the world to people like me, means mm -hmm. the world to Black mothers. Mm -hmm. Because in, in our community, it ain't every day that, you know, a parent is cool with it. Yeah. Um, your level of love understanding grace when it comes to your kid mm -hmm. um being open about his sexuality and doing get in front of the world because when i came out honey there <laughs> wasn't even my space it was aol <laughs> dial up service child okay so i was cool right, right. your son 
obviously is living in the world of social media where people can just make comments and you're yeah. seeing some of this unfortunate stuff with Dwayne Wade's daughter um, yeah. as well. What made you say, this is my son. I don't care what people say. I'm going to accept him for who he is. I mean, if you if you seen him, even when he was little, you already know what it was. So, I mean, yes. like, I'm going to cover and protect him no matter what. You, we've been dealing with the negativity of people since he was, like, in elementary school. I don't know how many times I've gone up to the school and just had to, like, set the kids straight. You know, so <clears throat> when in this world of social media... I need them to know, like, I, it's nothing wrong with it. Like, I love my son no matter what. I have his back. I'm going to hold him down. I'm going to cover him. And I want him to know that he is awesome. He is great, no matter who he loves. And that's just what it is. I mean, if you gay, you be the best gay you can be. That's what, be respectful, be fabulous. Just don't disappoint me and don't embarrass me. And that's what I let him know, you know? And he know <clears throat> he knows that I love him. I'm gonna hold him down, and I'm glad that I'm able to help so many other people and parents, you know, to love on their children. Yes, we do get some horrible comments. Yes, but they can shove them comments in the air because <laughs> it's not gonna stop me from loving my son and just holding him, you know, close to my heart. That's my baby. Well, I don't understand. Like, why would I turn my back? On something that I was in labor, even though I was only in labor for 30 minutes because he didn't want to wait. But I'm not, that's a lot of pain. I'm not going to turn my back on something. No, honey, I'm going to be there for you. I'm going to hold you down. And he know mommy has his, his back 100%. Oh, no. And he's so cute. He's so sweet. And I'm a, my mom passed away, but I was a mama's boy because mm -hmm. my mother loved up on me. Like you said, black mama knows about their little gay kid. That's Okay. They, they're waiting. They're waiting for you to come out. So my mama oh. knew. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. Like, come on, what you waiting for? Yes. <laughs> I came out at I came out to my mom at 25 years old, child. Oh my God. <laughs> and she was like, okay. <laughs> and I said, did you know? She said, maybe. I said, girl. She said, now look, girl. We Mama knows. Mama, Mama knows. When he came out to me, I was like, finally? <laughs> he was like, well, I'm so, whoo, I've been waiting, child. I said, Lord. <laughs> you finally did it. <laughs> Who knows to him? Now, look, he also came out and said he wants to be a singer and not a dentist. What's uh, going on with that, boo? He's going to be that dentist. He is. I'm about to um stop giving him money. <laughs> I'm about to punish him. He needs to go back to school. Singing is great. He can do that on the weekend or something like that. But he needs to get his education. We don't have a lot of black dentists out here. He and he's good at it. If he wasn't good, then I might be like, yeah. But he's good at it. And I didn't get my veneers then because I was waiting on him. So he needs to come on. He owes me. He owes me. I'm not playing. He owes me. <laughs> he owes me. <laughs> I done took care of him for all these years that he needs to come on. Like me, I'm proud of him no matter what, but I really want him to just, just try it. He'll like it. He's caught up in this hype. I hate hype. Like, come on already, Jay. You got this. Show the people. Aww. <laughs> I'm working on it. Well, have I'm him working. meet my friend, Dr. Heavenly, and maybe he can, like, have an apprenticeship. Yes. That would be awesome. Okay. So I'll call Dr. Heavenly and hook that up. And Heavenly, she she gonna put him in his place. You know, she don't bite her tongue. So, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, so we see each other. Okay. Um, Before I let you go, there were conversations that there was going to be a biopic of SWV. Is that still happening? You know, it's still in the works. It's like we've been talking about it, but we we don't really like want to bring up like we've we've made like 
let me see how I can say this. We've come a long way, you know, where we can love on each other. And I think bringing up a lot of that old stuff is going to take us back. I know for me, it's probably going to take us back because we each have our own, um, our own story of why SWV or how SWV broke up. I've never really spoken on my truth, but they, Lily has her truth, Taj has her truth, of course I have mine, and then it's the real truth. Mm -hmm. So bringing up a lot of that old stuff, I just don't want it to take us back to a place where we're not speaking or we're fighting again. So it's just something to think, think about and that's what we've been thinking about. So it's there, but we haven't moved forward with it. Wow, this is, look, I wish every girl group <clears throat> can talk to the three of y'all because based on this conversation, the level of honesty and maturity that you have mm -hmm. based on somebody who has been in the game for so many years and the mm -hmm. fact that you haven't allowed certain things to sway you off of your journey of mm -hmm. just being a grown ass woman and saying, I just want peace in my life. Mm -hmm. And I appreciate that. And that's why you're my girl because mm -hmm. there's so much drama happening in all the places. And look, right. you love Love and Marriage Huntsville. We like watching <laughs> drama. Like we get yes, it, yes. we get it, like we get it. But that's why for me, I appreciate the fact that you have allowed yourself to say, I know what I used to, I know who I used to be. Right. I know what I used to uh, respond to and no one is going to take me off track. And I, I appreciate that because that to me is something that this new generation of girl groups needs to hear so that they're able to just understand that we have to support each other in our maturity yes. at this level. And yeah. last but not least, one thing I know for sure, when you have bad intentions entering a situation, you right. can't escape what go what's going to come at you. you. You just can't. Absolutely. And we had, it was all good on our part, you know, and unfortunately, it kind of went crazy, but I'm still hopeful. <laughs> And so are we, child. So be what would you like to say to the audience, to the listeners? What does SWB have going on? Are you guys going to do a tour, even if it's by yourself or joining other people? Where can we buy some tickets, child? Let us know, boo. Yes, SWB is going on tour. We just have not made the announcement with who, but it'll be this summer. It's exciting. It's a nice tour, I think, you know? It's a nice one. I think everybody will. Be are you headlining it? We are not headlining. We would not. We don't want to headline with these people. We like we keeps it one hundred percent around here. We keep it real. It's not an integrated show. <laughs> they gonna do their thing. We gonna do ours. But they're huge. Like I wouldn't want to come behind them. Is it a girl group? <laughs> you are so funny <laughs> oh my god I'm coming look I'm telling you right now in front of all these people as my witness <laughs> I need tickets to this oh I got you okay you know I got you I got you <laughs> yeah and we said we wouldn't do any new music but our producer, Brian Morgan, I spoke to him this morning and he's like, he has this new song that is like such a banger. And since everybody wants to say, oh, Coco is the only one that sings, which is dumb because y'all love Use Your Heart and Taj is killing that. Oh, first of all, don't, don't listen, not to cut you off. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm an SWB stand. We love Use Your Heart. We yes. love Find Time. Mm -hmm. We love when you sing week live, you say sing it, Lily. Yeah. Now Lily sings on um our remake of If Only You Knew That Was Grammy nominated. So come on with the come on. So Brian has this song, and um I spoke to him this morning, like I said, and it's everybody will be singing Lee on this song. And you know, I trust him. 
he said, it's, you know, it's a banger. Lily heard it. She said it's a banger. And so we're going to see what we're going to do, you know. Is it a banger yeah. like Cosign was? I did not like Cosign. You did? Ooh, no, I hate that song. I... <laughs> oh, God, I love Cosign. Ooh, I hate it. Really? I know y'all yeah. hate it. I know y'all hate it. Can we? as the lead singer, lead, lead single off of the release of Tension album. Yeah, I guess. I don't remember, but... I remember everything y'all said, child, because I'm a stan of girl groups. But I hate a week, too, so, I mean... Oh, well, girl, we go... Go... Okay, never mind. Yeah, you can't go by me. Never mind, girl. Uh-uh, <laughs> no. No, no. And listen, I have to say this to you before you leave. The best song... Because when I get married to my African, I want you guys to sing at my wedding. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay. The best song that SWV has ever done, and this is my opinion, and until this day, I blast it as if it came out yesterday. The song It's About Time is the best song oh in the world. God. That is Lily's favorite song. Like, Yes. Oh my God. And I don't even remember the words to that song at it's all. It's about time. It's about <laughs> time for your yes. luck. I was you like, say that, the roof off that mother girl. I was so young when I did that song too. It was like it was a it was like our demo, the first demo we had ever done. Uh when we did that song and I was about 17 to 18 years old and they they kept it the, that original version and put it on the album because it was so good but um yeah that we need to add that to our show you must and for my listeners after this interview go on YouTube type in it's about time Coco sings her face off the the bridge is everything and the way the song concludes Coco's voice reaches heaven's pearly gates. <laughs> you and, and listen, after this interview, play Coco the way your voice. I didn't know anyone's voice can reach that high. You <laughs> sang that song as if you were standing on top of a pyramid and was singing for your life. You Girl, you are one of the greatest vocalists of our generation. <laughs> and that's the reason why I love when Beyonce gave you your props and how she, Beyonce is a huge fan of yours. Um, you. She loves you because she's a vocalist vocalist. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and the way you, Taj and Lady harmonize together, I, I listen... I don't think you guys are underrated by any means. I think you get the prop you deserve, but I I I I don't think as a collective, people give the group its props in terms of how you guys harmonize together. Yeah. And I wanted you to hear that from me that thank you, you. The harmonies when you three are together is mm -hmm. is magnificent. And I want other girl groups to take a page out of your book because it's all about the magic of the group. That yes. when you guys are together, leave egos aside, do what's best for the group. Exactly. Because without, like you said, the original members, be very careful with that because um, it, it could be tricky. So I just wanted to let you know that. Thank you. And what, and what I would tell to the new girls coming up, you know, when you sing... Uh, you mess up and you're not messed up. It's the whole group that's messing up. If somebody misses a step, it messes up. It's the whole group. It's not just one. We're uh, like, like they were saying, like, she said she sold 30 million. No, when I speak, I is we and we is SWV. That's how we look at it. We are one. That's it. Yes. I wish we would have done that back in the day, but we get it now. <laughs> <laughs> it's all about growth. It's all about yes, growth. Yes. It's all about moving forward. <laughs> Thank you, Coco, for taking time out of your busy schedule to talk to me. Thank you know, you know. You. Listen, I will always be a groupie for you and the girls. Oh, you know that. Thank you. You know I that. I love you. I love you, baby. Be good. You too. Mm -hmm.